welcome welcome to day number 10 of hashtag goatober so for the last video we saw the get children function from my data with scripts um repository so on this video we're going to continue last one was a recursive function and now we're going to get into the tail recursive functions so let's start with the add index tail recursive function this is the whole explanation i'm gonna go through it in a sec um and here is how it, the output looks like so just click on it oh i think this is the most complex one oh well let's take the input yep this is the most complex one <laughs> all right let's take the um script beauty so i'm just gonna go through it really quickly i'm not gonna get into too much detail there are some presentations if you feel a little bit lost about it and videos as well with this function because it's so complex uh in summary this is the input so we have this um input structure we have flight options which is an array of objects and then we have connections which is an another array of objects and then here we have reference id text code end of connection this end of connection can be true or false and the thing is that for example in this case we have end of connection false and then true um so we're going to create two, one object with an array of these two objects then on this case we have these two and we have true and true this means that we're going to create two separate objects then on this one we have false 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 this means we're going to create just one object with an array of three different um objects and then for example on this one we have false true and false this means we're going to create two uh, one object with two objects in an array with this two and just another object with this other object basically the end of connection whether it's true or false here in the middle it this will be the defining thing for you to create a new object or not and whatever is in the end it doesn't really matter so again <laughs> i'm not gonna go into too much detail because this whole presentation like this whole explanation for this code normally takes me like four minutes to explain in detail so i'm just gonna go through it really quick we use this tail recursive function and we send the payload dot flight options dot connections and then we use a reduce function to uh accumulate basically everything from the updated connections variable which basically we're going to Okay, let me just go step by step first thing we want to do is we're going to extract all of the connections um objects so that's why we do flight options are connections now that we have all of those they're going to be separated by array you can try this on your own just uh write payload that flight options are connections and you will see what happens and then we're going to update each end of connection uh, at the end to be true so this is true already this is true already this is going to be true instead of false this is going to be true instead of false and this is going to be true instead of false this will give us um like the actual code of what whenever we have a true we're going to create a new object and if we have a false we just uh, like this one we just have to append that object to the next one so here we do the update in the last connection so we update the end of connection with true and then we use this variable to um, just basically append whatever was before that last connection into the new one uh, or something like that <laughs> um, and finally we just do the accumulation of those two and here is the whole function I'm not gonna go into detail but basically um we check all of the connections and then if the connection 
is uh, the end of connection is true, then we're going to do this whole thing where uh, we will create a new object. Uh, where is it? This connection of connection. If this connection and of connection is true, then we're going to create a whole new object. And this is all the code to do that, which will give us this output here. So um, just to finish. So we have end of connection false, end of connection true. We end up with these two in one place. Then we have end of connection true, end of connection true. So we will have two different objects. Here is one. And you can notice uh, because the apply tax code is the same tax code that we have here. So for example, here I have DEF and here I have DEF. So we're going to take just the last tax code. Then we have GHI, we have GHI here. We have JKL, we have JKL here. Uh, and then we have false, false, false. So we're going to use SCU and the three of them we're going to be together like this uh, then we have just one here is v v w x and it's false and finally we have false true so this is going to be pqr with two objects here it is and finally you won't be able to see it but it's um just one object with stu That was a lot. And the other thing that was difficult with this script is that all of the uh, like indexes at the end, let me just take my output from here. All of the indexes at the end are like, uh, they keep counting. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 and 11. <laughs> Um, and that was other difficult thing to do, but we solved it using tail recursive function. And then every time that we call the next function inside the function, we just send index plus one. Now, this is not a recursive function. This is a tail recursive function. The difference is that a recursive function, like the one we saw in the last video, if we um, go over the 255 index um, maximum value, then we're going to get a stack overflow error. And if we uh, use a tail recursive function, we can use as many as we want and we will never get that stack overflow error. That's the difference. And finally, if you want to check out where is the presentation, here you can see, please go to this repository. If you go to that repository, you will see another readme. You will see a first version of the code that I created just using like reduce and something like more. Um, I think I'm using recursive function here. I don't remember. But then on the version two of the code is the one that you just saw. And here you have the also the same input and output data. And here you have a whole more explanation. Uh, the latest code is here. The latest presentation is here. You can just go to SlideShare and you will see it. And finally, if you go to the version 3 information here, you will see that this version was presented at these two different meetups. So if you click on these two links, any of those, you will be able to see the video um, of me explaining these things. And finally, you can just contact me here if you have any more questions. And well, that's it for today. <laughs> I hope that was helpful. Maybe for the next video, I'm going to explain the difference between a recursive function and a tail recursive function. All right. Um, remember to subscribe. Um, you will see a button appearing over here in some seconds. Follow me on socials at DevAlexMartinez. And this is Code Tover. See you on the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>